Hello, good afternoon. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of European markets for Tuesday's trading session, the 30th of August 2016. Okay, now let's try and decipher exactly what's happened here in terms of uh, European markets. Uh, now, towards the close, we certainly had a, uh, a sell off, uh, certainly uh, a weakness, although European uh, markets certainly immune to that. When I say European, I'm referring to the, uh, the DAX, the CAC, and the Euro stocks, and obviously UK. Now the FTSE 100 obviously was subdued and subjugated towards the end uh, and finally uh, succumbed to uh, a stronger dollar on the back of obviously Fisher's comments, although this morning it was actually uh, uh, really very, very stellar, stellar. certainly uh, pushed higher on the back of uh, Bunzel, BUNZ, uh, stronger earnings, uh, Japanese employment, uh, Nikkei was weaker overnight, China certainly flat overnight, but the FTSE certainly moving higher uh, regardless, although it did actually uh, succumb to selling towards a close on the back of Fisher's comments and the US market certainly indicating weakness as well. I was very surprised at the strength this morning on the uh, back of uh, the FTSE, but I'll certainly elaborate and explain today. Okay, Trade Signaler, be, be sure to visit Trade Signaler, www.tradesignaler.com. Signals and market updates from leading providers. You can certainly uh, download the Google Play, uh, you can certainly download the, uh, the app at the Google Play and the Apple's App Store. Okay, folks, certainly. Uh, familiarize yourself with that particular app okay now in terms of uh, the US markets let's start with the US dollar dollar and then just look at the uh, situation there before we move on to European session so let's just bring up the US dollar first of all a uh, US dollar itself now is coming into resistance it has exceeded the fib 75% retracement on the daily chart you have the 200 MA slightly above so keep an eye on that but for, my, for me I'm cer certainly long the Kiwi in the back of the uh, IHS formation certainly um, being completed okay so the IHS formation certainly has completed now we've reached the uh, the actual uh, target we actually exceeded that now slightly and you are now coming into resistance on the uh, the actual US dollar now once we're into resistance for the dollar then that generally means that you are into resistance or into support for the uh, FTSE uh, to a large extent so certainly keep an eye on that okay European markets certainly buoyed by the weaker euro Okay, you had weaker inflation data certainly today from Germany. Germany, we had weaker consumer confidence as well, which in turn obviously encourages the uh, QE uh, argument, and therefore European equities certainly benefiting from there. We had weaker CBI data from the UK or FTSE 100 today. Uh, again, the FTSE was certainly uh, unfazed by that altogether, uh, and certainly was uh, relying on the fact that uh, US markets were not believing in Mr. Fisher. Uh, again, very strange. So FTSE strength today is certainly very, very uh, confusing to me, okay, from a fundamental perspective specifically, okay. Technically, I'll, I'll certainly go on to that and I'll explain. In terms of the other fundamental variables to consider, really, yes, Germany did highlight the Brexit concerns. Apple's $13 billion uh, tax potential um, unpaid tax. Uh, issue certainly has hurt European equities to a large extent, although, like I said, European equities on phase, but the FTSE certainly um, found weakness towards the close, which is, uh, again, strange, but following US markets. So if I bring up the S&P 500, you can see as soon as the S&P 500 started, it started to sell off, hit a pivot low of 2173.8, and obviously has subsequently removed, reversed now, sorry, started to move higher now, started to reverse coming into this 200 MA, and then you have 2182 resistance above. I'm currently long 2174, looking for 2184. Again, I'll revise my potential target as and when I see fit. You do have the unfilled gap at 2169, so one needs to remain aware of that. Okay, that certainly is a, a possibility, a very strong possibility of it uh, of it being closed. So again, certainly keeping an eye out for that. Okay, in terms of European indices, let's go on to the German DAX now, first and foremost. Start off with the daily chart. Daily chart itself, given the weaker euro and obviously the weaker inflation data, are increasing the argument for more QE. You can certainly see <clears throat> the German DAX moving higher. If I go to the 60 minute chart, the German DAX, we broke out the resistance zone. So, again, you have to respect that. Okay, we've certainly broken through resistance, retesting the breakout, and now potentially launching up to uh, 10,700 to 10,730. So, that certainly is a possibility, folks. Okay. Now, again, if we see a potential top in the dollar and the euro starting to uh, move higher again, then that will potentially hurt the German DAX. So, again, that certainly is a possibility as well. So, just keep an eye on that for, uh, as well, okay? And, again, realize that the uh, stimulus of the QE trade is all about the euro. 
although towards the close we did have a bearish pattern so again it's not exactly uh, all bullish at present German DAX certainly remains vulnerable to a potential breakdown okay well, given the fact that we have those tax concerns as well uh, with Ireland and Apple that certainly will weigh on the uh, on the actual uh, Apple indice or should we say the Nasdaq or Napple DAX as it's known okay so again looking for potential gap fill below 10540 so again that certain that that's uh, that pattern is certainly a possibility and we'll see how the uh, US markets unfold I've certainly been looking to potentially uh, short the US equities especially the Nasdaq towards the close on any strength okay and again looking for this pattern to eventually play out into the European session looking at the tech all share this is interesting folks okay tech all shares has held resistance all share tech or tech all share performance index which is popular for the DAS, the DAX and I always use it as a cross reference for the Nasdaq it has been in resistance and has been holding resistance ever since and therefore looking for weakness in the German DAX is certainly being confirmed to a large extent which in turn obviously leads towards weakness towards the Nasdaq as well so certainly looking for that potential gap fill below so watch out for that potential gap and all eyes on that gap going into the close so again this will be a confirmation signal. well it is a confirmation signal for me to short the Nasdaq but again looking for any pop on the Nasdaq for now given the like volume okay look going over to the French CAC now French CAC towards the close certainly finished weak as well I start off on the daily chart slight topping tail there so certainly worrying sign to a large extent 60 minute chart double top intraday 60 minutes certainly isn't a good sign you have resistance at uh, 4480 again it's all about that weaker euro so all eyes on that weaker euro folks that's my perspective okay again if the dollar is topping out and you are looking at the euro moving higher which in turn obviously hurts european equities the french cut did finish weak towards the close so again it's not a good sign okay uh, certainly indicating weakness on the 10 minute chart and then you have the unfilled gap below at 4424 uh, currently trading around the 4465 zone so again European indices certainly looking to top out as the euro bottoms out if you look at the euro USD and the daily chart you can see we are potentially bottoming out, out here on the daily chart if you look at the fib retracement from the pivot low to the pivot high and uh, you are into that fib 75 percent you're approaching 200 MA certainly looking to bounce here as well four hour chart you can clearly see you have horizontal support here so again looking to bounce from this current juncture Hence the reason why I'm actually long the uh, NZD USD at the moment, okay? And certainly keeping an eye on this as well. So if I just connect the dots here, okay? So you certainly have a, a falling uh, bearish channel or uh, certainly looking to potentially reverse, okay? So although having said that, the weak consumer confidence data and weaker German inflation data certainly is in the background as well in terms of fundamentals. So again, fundamentals certainly not confirming a potential bounce in the euro for now. Okay. Uh, in terms of the FTSE 100, let's look at the FTSE folks, okay, the daily chart, the FTSE 100, again, it's all about that previous resistance equals support at 6780 on the daily chart, again, that certainly is holding for now, 60 minute chart at the moment, uh, again, it has put in a potential bullish pattern, given the fact that we are looking for a top in the dollar, okay, so the top in the dollar, you are looking for a bottom in the FTSE, okay, so again, just keep an eye on this folks, okay, you've had the, uh, potential pivot low being put in at the uh, key 6780 zone which again corresponds with the daily chart of 6780 as I've already explained okay so again watch out for this channel I mean we could certainly if the dollar starts to well, continues to move higher then you are going to see a continuous flush in the FTSE 100 okay uh, now whilst we're looking at the FTSE let's just quickly bring up the chart of oil for you give you an insight in oil okay so oil prices at the moment if I just go to a four hour chart into support for our uh, 60 minute chart certainly into support as well so this is quite an important key uh, support zone here okay in terms of for, for oil now we have had some data out from uh, Iraq uh, the latest uh, data from Iraq let's just have a look here and give you the quote uh, basically Iraq to support oil output freeze at OPEC meeting according to PM Abadi so again uh, Iraq oil output potential freeze being supported by the Iraqi PM is certainly good sign okay so again it certainly is a good sign uh, a good sign for um, a um, going forward in terms of oil looking for potential a uh, base here now again if the dollar is topping out then again it's going to support the price of oil okay so bear that in mind if the dollar is topping out it's going to support the price of oil and it'll be interesting to see how the oil prices move but again dollar topping out commodities into support 
okay certainly take that into consideration okay right going back to the FTSE 100 now okay so again you have this right shoulder okay so I'm going to come on to this, this right shoulder is quite important folks I mean if we actually start to reverse on the back of this uh, weaker dollar okay given the fact that nobody really believes in Mr. Fisher and all their rhetoric okay you are going to see a continuation pattern on the back of QE okay so given the fact that we did have weaker CBI data today again supports the argument for more QE okay although the recently the data has been quite strong which obviously negates the argument today's weaker data actually supports the argument and therefore you're looking for the FTSE 100 to start to rise back up to that 6900 zone okay so that's basically what we're expecting and this is what we're actually looking for go looking towards okay again the whole situation can change can change if the dollar continues to rally 10 minute chart of the FTSE 100 again you certainly seem to have made a base here at 6812 so we need to respect that Again, very impressed at the FTSE's ability to reach 6850 today. Very, very impressive. Okay. Okay. So let's certainly uh, see that for, understand that for now. Taking the pivot highs together, you certainly have key resistance here on the FTSE. So lower lows, lower highs. Again, 6810 will be a zone to potentially go long on the FTSE and potential 6800 if we go below. Okay. So that's two either potential support zones for me to go long on the actual index. Okay. Uh, in terms of European indices, let's bring up the Euro stocks. Here we go. So Euro stocks daily chart. Let's bring up the daily chart. The Euro stocks again, uh, potential almost reached gap fill. Gap fill high was 3045. We got to 3041. 60 minute chart. You can see that we almost closed that gap. We held resistance here. Okay. So again, potential top in Euro stocks looking for a reversal. 10 minute chart again, looking top heavy, folks. Looking very top heavy on the Euro stocks going into the close. And again, looking to potentially reverse. So certainly something to take on board. Okay, certainly something to take on board. And you have the unfilled gap below as well. So if you we do get a rally in the euro, <clears throat> a rally in the euro obviously will uh, certainly help facilitate this move down. And also given the fact that you have the news with regards to Apple, potentially even relocating and hurting potential jobs in the eurozone. So again, the spat between the, uh, the US and the EU in terms of the TTIP, the trade talks for certainly failing. And obviously this situation with regards to the tax uh, regime as well okay so again certainly taking this all on board from my perspective given the fact that the euro now is potentially bottoming out dollar is topping out that certainly isn't looking good for european equities to start off with okay and then you have the fact that uh, if the dollar is certainly topping out then you are looking at commodities bottoming out which in turn will help the FTSE 100 so there's certainly arguments on both sides. And again, the Nasdaq certainly remains subdued due to the fact that you have this potential uh, tax system uh, concern, uh, which again certainly does affect the rest of the US uh, actual uh, uh, tech companies in terms of their future as well going forward. So it's going to be very interesting, very, very interesting to uh, see how this market reacts. But given the light volume at present, certainly favoring the upside, looking for a move higher given the light volume, and then we'll re reassess from there. On that note, I'm going to close. Be sure to uh, visit CFDs.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the 25% uh, bonus offer that's available and uh, visit TradeSignal.com for the latest market updates and signals. Goodbye now.